she's returned, Geralt. After all these years. The man who meets the hunt returns to this world. I returned. Alright, what's happening my friends? Welcome back to some more Witcher 3 Wild Hunt gameplay. We are knee deep in uh, in Crookback Bog here, trying to track down, well currently, uh, the larger the, the, the big picture is we're looking for the crones of Crookback Bog, but currently we're looking for a young lad named Johnny, uh, who Gran says is a figment of one of the other boys' imaginations. So I don't know what to, what the deal is here. In fact, she nearly has him convinced that uh, Johnny is not is not real at all. Anyway, we're we're trying to track down. We've seen his footsteps, and uh, we're moving a little deeper here into the bog, dealing with drowners and foul hags along the way. My sword at the ready. I'm definitely going to. You know what? I may need that uh, that swallow right now. I may be good to. I may be wise to get the swallow in. Wrong. Uh, um, we'll get the swallow in and maybe get a meditation going before I proceed any further. <laughs> you know, I'm seeing some, uh, some, uh, some diminished structures over there. Some ruined structures. That looks like a rooftop. Missing a house. Yes, yeah, missing the walls. Alright, let's back up here a second. Get a proper meditation going. And, uh, let's do it. Wrong button. One hour. Now I need to start keeping an eye on things because I am starting to I'm starting to do this uh, pretty pretty regularly again, you know. <laughs> Burning through my swallows, but it's been it's been rough travel. The the drowners, my god, can they ever just rip you down. You miss you miss a couple of dodges or you miss time a couple of attacks and goddamn if you don't pay for it when they're around, you know. All right. Now I've completely lost track of the trail. Stay focused here, Vitcher. Oh my. Tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. I wonder, Vitcher. Call to Johnny. Well, I don't know if I want to. The kid's living underground like a hobbit. <laughs> uh, what's going <laughs> What do you think is coming out of this damn hole? I don't know. I'm a little worried, though. Bloody Johnny. handprints. Some wild man beast. What is that? Don't be afraid. You're a bucker? What do you call him, a fucker? A Luton? <laughs> ah, a godling. A godling. Not many of you left. Oh. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? You can't talk. What's wrong? Can't talk? Oh no. They took his Why? tongue. <laughs> you can just tell. You can just tell. Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? A scar in his upper lip. Something got in there and took his tongue away. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. He wants me... Uh, okay, let me see. I don't, I don't understand. Explain a little, little more intricately, please. Can't understand you. Try to explain it somehow. He's like, damn you thick... Thick skull vetcher. Just come with me. Fine, you want me what is it? You want me to follow you, is it? 
Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. I'll tell you. Vitcher seems to trust the kid. I don't know, though. He seems a close a close relative to the botchling, in fact. Oh, my God. We got some good experience there. And they are right up on the godlings. In fact, let's do that, just so I know. Moving forward, how to treat them. Relics. Let's see. Oh, wow. Got a bit of a, bit of a read here. Not too long ago, the areas around peasant hamlets were chock full of guardian spirits. Today, it's nigh unto impossible to spot a brownie, bucka, or lutin. In godlings, they are always the first to go. Such is the price we pay for civilization's forward march. So, more magically inclined uh, races, you know, I think, uh, that have been, uh, you know, simply eradicated by, by human growth, right? Anyway, godlings, sometimes mistaken for lutin, are woodland creatures dwelling in burrows and moss-covered hollow stumps. On the outskirts of human settlements, they are similar to children in behavior and appearance, and like children, delight in mischief. Oh my, what's he leading us into? Some mischievous trap, perhaps. Anyway, godlings are deeply rooted in their home and territory and perform acts of care and guardianship to those dwelling near their burrows, so that's good. They watch over people as well as animals, but shy creatures by nature, and they try to do so while remaining unseen. Godlings are drawn to joy and innocence and so delight in the company of children and usually only show themselves to the young. Oh, wow, we've got more. These hardworking and clever creatures gladly perform small services for those in their care, asking only for respect and payment in the form of food or cast-off tools in return. They are easily offended by a churlish, ungrateful, or simply rude behavior. Godlings also treasure their peace and quiet. When the village a godling watches over becomes too populous or its inhabitants forget the old ways, it will abandon its burrow for good and walk off to destinations unknown. All right. Well, Vitcha, prepare to part with some food here, sir. And uh, be on your best. Look, look young Johnny in the eye and uh, be respectful, yes. <laughs> Otherwise, we may suffer his wrath. All right, here we go. We got some drowner action. Johnny, now, yes, stay clear here, young Johnny. Damn it! All right. Oh God, damn it! And I'll tell you when they when they stack up those attacks like that. <coughs> damn, do you ever suffer? All right, that was pretty good work. I was just getting ready to burn this sucker out. And... Oh, we strike him in half! I think he lost a limb there, yeah. We've, we've got some honeycomb. Perhaps young Johnny has a sweet tooth on him. I don't know. Maybe he has a taste for drowner brain. Let's, uh... <laughs> let's grab a little honeycomb here. Before he takes off too far. Or wanders too far away. And, in fact, let me go in. Um, let me get some food stacked up in here, you know. Start eating some of this honeycomb. Oh, I drank a swallow, stupidly. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Ridiculous. Alright, that's fine. I may still need the food yet, you know. Stay close to me. I took a serious barrage of hits from those, uh, those two drowners. Oh my god just decimated my health. Alright, it looks like... Have we come all the way back to the start of the trail? I saw what looks like an explosive barrel down there. This the place? Let me look around. We, Something's on the ledge. Looks like a nest. Something that'll get you your voice back. Really? Alright. Guess I gotta make this climb. <laughs> oh, damn. He's got a face only a mother could love. Oh my, what have we here? Well, I saw a nest right over there. And, uh, looks like a wyvern. 
circling the skies. I've also got a little potential loot over here or something. Where did that rubble come from? Perhaps there used to be a house on the hill. Alright, we'll get the, the save game in, and... I guess I'm gonna quickly want to go back in here. Do I have any draconid oil? I don't think I do. Hybrid vampire... No, I don't. Okay, um... Don't need the honeycomb there any longer. Let's see. Tawny Owl? Yeah, I think, I think that's what I'll go with. And we'll get my... Some mums ready. Alright, here we go. Whoa, what do have we here? Harpies. Yeah. I, I knew what they were, I just couldn't think of what they were called. Couldn't think of the name. This could be quite the battle, let me tell you. Is this a royal wyvern? What is that? Take that harpy down! Clip its wings there, bitch! Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> mm. Alright, I'm gonna get the Tawny Owl in. Come on, come on. You know they're gonna be susceptible to the fire. You just feel it. Well, maybe not. Didn't really do too much. Alright. Quen up. Cut it down. Come on. Almost at it. Almost at it. Alright, get the Quen sign back up. There we go. And this one's nearly done as well. Wonderful. Alright, let's try the crossbow on the creature. Oh, that was real close. Oh, damn, thank God I got the shield up just in the nick of time. It didn't like that, did it? It didn't like that much. Good. Power strike adventure. He's coming down. He's looking to hammer you down into this earth. Make you a permanent resident up here. Oh, I got the uh, the counterattacking. Real nice timing there. Real epic fight playing out up here. <laughs> Loving this. Power strike. Okay, I've lost the shield. Need to be aware of it. Where are you going, Wyvern? You've had second thoughts, haven't you? I don't blame you. My power is mighty and great. Oh, wow. Got knocked really stupid there. Had he wanted to, he probably could have uh, disemboweled me with those... Well, if not the fangs, at the very least, the big claws on the beast. He's nearly done. He is nearly done for. Let's see if I can actually finish him off with an Igni. Yeah, he, he does take a little bit of damage. Not much, though. Alright. Great fight up here. Oh, wow. Little monster bone, dragon scales, yet another wyvern mutagen. And an egg. In fact, let me go in there. I want to take a look at this mutagen and see what it's actually gonna... What it's actually gonna accomplish for me. I think they'd probably be best held onto for some sort of a wyvern decoction of some kind, you know. Um... But there we go, there's one, and I, I should have a second one somewhere. Yeah, here we go. So, a little boost to attack power. That's not too bad. Alright. What else do I have? Okay, still have the Foglet. We've got Night Wraith and Wraith Mutagens. Okay. Let's search those foul harpies. Never, never trust a harpy, kids. No. Pro tip right there. <laughs> They will try to lure you in. Yes. 
some erratic winged display. But they're nothing but trouble. Alright, anyway. A great fight up here. I, I just continue to be impressed by this game. Uh, we've got a sealed bottle. Okay, perhaps that's his voice. Locked away here. Corked forever. And, uh, and, and perched upon this nest. Maybe he meant this bottle. Maybe. Maybe he did, Vetcher. You stole the words right out of my mouth. Alright, how are we getting down? We came up over here. Would it be worth searching over this way? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, we got something right there. Genacea petals. I never did take much of a look around here. It's taken me a little getting used to not have being able to... I don't know, the way the roll shifts from, from a roll to just kind of a standard jump when you're not in combat. Is he taking damage there? God damn it, Witcher. What is the matter with you? Uh, before we speak with him, I might as well have a, have a sip of water. Just to help bring back a little a little life to the Vitcher. Help strengthen yeah. his resolve. He brought the kid some hard liquor. <laughs> to loosen him loosen his tongue, yes. Peter Piper picked Prince Proximo a pack of pickled peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails <laughs> through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Hey, hey! Hang on a minute. Where are you going? I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Yes, y yes I would. As you, you can clearly see, I'm a vetcher. And we only work for profit, yes. When we have something to gain, how did you, how did you lose your voice? No, how do you bottle someone's voice, I suppose is what I should ask. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook. At others, like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank, or just to be mean. Okay, I'm looking for a young ashen-haired woman. I'm looking for a young ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. <laughs> Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. <laughs> Suddenly, heard a bang, so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut. Quick as if the crones were after her. Hmm. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice. So I don't think she heard me. Clearly. The woman from the village in the swamp, what, what do you know of her, Johnny? I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Ugh, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. Do you know anything about the crones? Since we... We did touch upon them as a topic. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Hmm. Depends on their whim. They're nasty, although they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. Well, it's cool that he mentioned, you know, they might take your voice. Clearly, he had dealings 
with the foul hags. Alright, so, back to Siri. She went off to the village, right? Is that what you said? She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Good. There we go. I have a feeling that uh, Gran is probably somewhat innocent. She is acting a little funky, though. She may have set up shop. I mean, she made mention that she's lost her daughter. I think both her daughters or something like that in our, in our initial conversation with her. Um, and it may be that she sent them off to the crones down that trail of treats. And now maybe she set up this orphanage here to help help other children. Perhaps her guilty conscience, right, weighs heavily on her. I don't know. That's the read I get on Gran, and maybe... Maybe the very fact that she set up this orphanage, um, maybe uh, the the crones aren't too happy about it, and have uh, I don't know, have cast some sort of a spell on her. Watch out! Because she does seem like there's something a little off about her, but I I really don't think she's uh, she's got evil intention. Yeah, that's right, Drowner. Turn tail and run. I don't blame you. Oh, she was reaching for the feces. The old shit water surprise, yes. The, <laughs> the old shit water screwball. She likes to toss our way. Ridiculous. But you stay focused on the right target, please. Thank you. There we go. She's about to go. Just one drowner left. I think I'm going to try and hit him with a little axie. Well, oh, he has crossed. Oh, damn it. Are you kidding me? That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. From, from a damn near full bar of health. Three quick swipes. One little bit of poor timing. And I'm really hurting. There we go. And I will take your head. No, no. Didn't quite get to do it. Unfortunately. Probably gonna have to drink a swallow here. At the very least, I'm gonna have to get the food resupplied into that hotkey. We'll go on to the mystery meat, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn, she's something else to look at, isn't she? <laughs> anyway. Why? Look at the kid. Is he marked as an as an enemy? I don't know. No, I guess glowing red is more, you know, something that I can examine. He's probably marked red because I'm to follow him right now. All right, so, well, the drowners in that foul hag took down the soldier. We've got something of interest over here by the looks of things, and uh, I should probably check the house as well if there's any entry permitted. It's not just completely caved in on top of itself. No, it doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, here we go, here we go. A little something. The Dorian Sword. Alkalest, that's good. That's good. Uh, Elemental Essence, Enhanced Cursed Oil. And some crowns. Alright. Get a little more raw meat in you there, bitch. What have we here? Looks like a shrine to a water hag or something. Perhaps a shrine belonging to one of the one of the crones. I don't know. Doesn't seem to be anything else here though. All right, where's our boy Johnny? Our little godling here. Let's roll, kiddo. We're down to the ham sandwiches. I've been saving those for just such an occasion. Yes. <laughs> and I uh, could probably do with one more and swap back over towards, well, some sort of potion. Um. Tony Owl. Tony Owl.
Okay, the Orphans of Crookback Bog. A new marker, really. All right, let's get the lead out here. I guess I guess he kind of keeps pace with me, rather than it being the other way around. That's fine though. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazes, fire waning pale. Pop! A spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tank. I don't know, he doesn't give me a calming you, feeling. You got your voice back. <laughs> I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Hmm. <laughs> the ashen-haired woman. Speak. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night, <laughs> even during potty time. <laughs> His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with it's me. It's about time there, Gran. Clearly, she gets on with Johnny quite well. Kid is creepy as hell, though, if you ask me. I don't know. Just something about him. Ugh. Strange looking. Pleasant enough, though. Seems to really... Really cherish his morning, no, his morning dumb. Like no, foul creature, <laughs> anyway. they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all. Beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. Hmm. Maybe Gran isn't quite so innocent after all. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever, too. Well, thank you. Where have you been hiding, boy? Right in your backyard, yes. I want to talk to you. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. She's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like Sims. What happened to her? It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. 
A dark power has surfaced near Zone Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen air maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The Alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. I don't know, Witcher. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. Why do I need a dagger? I've got two swords on my back. They've served me well in the past, as they will in the future. A dagger? What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I guess we have little choice here, Vetcher. Fine. It's a deal. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, I'm mistress, right on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger for you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. I'll tell you. No wonder she seems a little off. You know, having those three in your <laughs> in your head. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear. Stone nose, stone ears. Damn. Ugh. You're getting chills in here. Alright, and a new level coming in. Fantastic. Okay, so she said place the Alderman's treasure, or no, payment, payment on the stone. I'm not seeing any sort of a stone, though. I was expecting it to be in here, as though I would have to put it on an altar, but uh, I guess we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, aren't we? We are. All right, uh, so talk to the elderman of uh, of Down Warren about the village's problem. Let's take a look at the map. I'm gonna have to go in here and level up here shortly, which is what uh, I have planned. Okay, here we go. So we're just leaving. We're just we're just heading north. We're gonna end up on the perimeter of these swampy lands, and uh, we're still we're still a good ways off from actually heading towards Oxenford. I don't know why I thought you know I I think I had the impression that the the bog was much closer to Oxenford than uh, than what it is. All right, so sh I guess I, I, I should probably just push forward here. You know, we'll hit up this notice board as well while we're in town and hopefully get the uh, points of interest in the area um, uncovered. Okay, well, I didn't get a new slot open. Probably will come. It will probably un unlock at, uh, I would imagine, it's going to happen at level 10. Would seem to make sense. A bit of a milestone level. I, oh, I got, uh, I got a new, I, I received a new mutagen slot, though, so that's good. That is quite good indeed. Okay, which simply means, well, we'll do it this way, and I guess they're both 5 to attack power, aren't they? So we'll slap that in there for a bonus to 15, or a bonus of 15% to attack power. Quite pleased. Now then, what was, uh, what's the next level? I mean, the best choice here, once again, we arrive at this point where it's probably uh, better to... To seek out an upgrade in one of the already currently selected abilities. We've got Muscle Memory. Uh, again, another increase to fast attack damage. Into Adrenaline Point gain. Arrow Deflection. Perfectly timed parries reflect arrows back at the attacker. Adrenaline Point gain goes up by 2% or up by 1 more percent. That wouldn't be too bad, you know. Turn... Well... To turn their weapon against them. Um, I could seek out something different, you know. And I've still got this one, you know, I have to remember that I've got this one, this one al alchemical ability as well. What's over here? Let's see. So we've got sun and stars. During the day, vitality will regenerate by an additional 10 points per second when not in combat. Now, I have to wonder, is that going to affect me with blood and broken bones? Um, will it, will it actually start picking up ever so slightly? I don't know. 
Cat school techniques, each piece of light armor increases critical hit damage by 25%. Fast attack damage by 5%. Each piece of medium armor, I don't even, I didn't even realize that they were rated in such a way. That we actually had medium, light, and heavy armor in there, you know. I'm gonna have to pay better attention. Go looking for that sometime soon. Um, steady shot, crossbow bolts, deal 25% more damage. That's tempting. That's real tempting. Since I, I really feel as though uh, I don't do the damage deserved. When you think about some of the damage I take from bolts and arrows that come sailing my way. Um, Rage Management. If your current stamina level is too low, signs can be cast using Adrenaline Points. I like that. That's real tempting for me. That's a must-have. Um, I just don't know. I mean... I don't have a slot for it right now. What else is there? Focus. Adrenaline Points increase both weapon damage and sign intensity. And Metabolic Control increases maximum toxicity by 30 points. All right, of everything, this is the most important to me. Rage, no, no, no. Rage management, right there. I never even read this one. Uh, adrenaline burst increases adrenaline generation by 5%. Using signs now generates adrenaline points as well. All right, well, for the time being, after reading all of that, I know what I what the next point I get will be when I get a new um, uh, slot unlocked, you know. It's going to be that rage management. For the time being, I think... Hmm. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's get the Igni sign upgraded. We'll take it to the next level. Yes. Why not? Okay. Okay. We're still good for a little more time. I can definitely venture out of here. Uh, we won't rob from this uh this old woman. She seems to have it hard enough. And I, I don't think I actually got to complete my thought, but. We know why there's something wrong with her, you know, having those three old crones drifting in and out of her mind. Well, it must take its toll on her. The poor old woman. Johnny? A boy? <laughs> Again, just a strange looking kid, let me tell ya. Alright, let's, uh, I guess we'll just, yeehaw, we'll venture out of here. Let's do it. Put pedal to the metal, yes. <laughs> and get rolling. In fact, let's call in. Did Rochi, has he completed his journey? Yes, he has. He's having a little bath here in the swamp. Alright. And uh, definitely time for a quick save. After all of that. Now, how the hell do I get out of here? Here we go. We're back on the trail. The trail of treats. Not quite as sinister as, uh, as perhaps I had initially thought. But who knows? You know what? Now that I see it, I must have it. Was this one of the, uh... One of the nests that I left? I don't know. Burn that sucker down. It's a great little source of food. You know, because I think I pull... What do I pull out of here? Like, four honeycombs. Yeah. Yeah, I took the one down. I never bothered with the second, but here we go. Wait for it to burn out. The last of the foul wasps. And now I will indulge. Ah, uh, we got three out of there. Alright. Not too bad. I wonder if there's any potential point of interest in the area that I could uncover. Because I don't have too much time left. Let's take a quick look at the map here. Um, we've got the town. We've got, hmm, various structures out here. This here could be worth checking. I don't know. No, you know what? We'll roll right into town. Screw it. Slow now. Oh, I've got this, this massive ridge I need to deal with. I need to find that little waterfall. Is Take that it? it? I think I think that was it. Come on, Roach. I think that was it. I don't know if Roachy can even make this climb though. You know, because go, I've got that go. leap that needs to be made. <laughs> yeah, this is where we part ways, horse. Yes. Oh, come on, Fletcher, get up there. 
All right. We've made the climb. Rochi's, uh, I don't know, making his own way up somewhere. <laughs> He's pulled out the ropes. He's preparing to do a little mountain climbing. Yes. Horse style. All right. We're back on track now. I may just wander here on foot. We're not far. No, we're rolling right up on it, in fact, I think. I've got some sort of a baddie making a track on me here. Or at least that's what it looks like. I don't know. Must be down down one level, though. He's probably at the bottom of the ridge. Alright. What's this called again? Down Warren, I think. Was the name given this town? Got something. Closing in. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm keeping a, keeping a good eye on that, uh, that mini-map. Actually, they may not, may not have actually been baddies. Oh, you know what they were? They were just... It was just some local wildlife. Because the geese were marked with the same markers. Alright, we're looking for the Elderman. That looks like it could be him. No, no. This fellow over here with the fancy robes. Yes. Greetings. What bothers your villagers, sir? What haunts this town that you need assistance with? Nice village. Boy. A real pearl of the swamps, <laughs> if you say so. You get by all right? Aye, oh, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. I, I don't belong to anyone. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied all. Fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeared to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. You know, if these crones are so powerful, why couldn't they do this themselves? I don't know. How long has it been like this, sir? I need, I'm going to need more information, clearly. When did all this start? Three years back. Three years? I remember. Damn. It was a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled the hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands, and the leaves shriveled oh, and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame. Fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. I'll tell you, what a great story. Unbelievable. There was definitely some sort of a hair joke to be made there as well, but uh, I was enthralled, yes. I skipped right over it. Anyway, more details, sir. More. Please, I crave more of your great and wondrous tale of, of, hor of hardship and horror, yes. Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Fine, fine, sir. I'll look around. Appreciate your cooperation in this matter. Ladies of the Wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Master Witcher, I like the sound of that. Yes. Anyway. 
Uh, find out what's killing the villagers from Down Warren. Alright, first things first. We're getting a little short on time. I'm probably going to wrap it before leaving the village. Let's take a look at the notice board and see what's up here. Uh, we've got a contract for the monster from the swamp. Oh my. Anyone here knows how to read, read this and read it. Careful, see? Yes. <laughs> so that it's known far and wide, or at least throughout the whole village. Out in the bog, by where we dig peat, there's a beast what feeds on men and spurts out deadly mists all around itself. If you're good with a sword and looking for coin, know that I'll pay and pay well for that beast, said. Yes, I will. And everyone else, stay out of that accursed bog if you value your lives. Don't say I didn't warn you from Leslov. Maybe maybe we'll go and have words with old Leslov here. Alright. And of course we've got some markers up and I'd like to take a look and see just how how many have popped up. Alright, we've got plenty that sprung up over here now. I was I don't know, I was expecting a little bit more right here, but I guess not. Could be worth investigating though. Um here's where we need to get to for the ladies of the wood. It was made mention of some, I don't know what it was called, some whispering tree or, or hill or something. Um, but for the time being, let's inquire about this monster. The swamp thing. There we go. Talk, talk to uh, the contract issuer. And where is he exactly? What is he? He better not be one town over, let me tell you. Oh, he is. Well... I don't know if that's a town. Perhaps he's simply lost in the wood. Perhaps it's the only place he thinks himself safe from this swamp thing. Alright, well, next episode, let's see, let's see. I'll try and plot something out here. I'd like to, at the very least, check in with this man, have words with him. And uh, see if it's something worth, worth investigating further at this stage in the game. I could maybe do a couple of these points of interest. So we'll veer off this way, probably next episode. Check these two things out. And then, uh, you know, turn south and go and have words with this man, Leslov. All right. All right, all. Hey, uh, let's get the camera all set up just right for our farewells. Appreciate you stopping on in. Hope you had a good time this episode. It was a good episode, you know, wandering through the uh, the bog and, 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 and gaining a little, you know, clarity on the whole situation that's playing out down there. I, th I still think... There's there's much to be learned. I still think the, the, the three crones are not to be trusted. I could be wrong, though. Anyway, I, uh, I hope to see you next time as the story continues to unravel. But of course, until then, remember why it hurts. Later all.